move very quickly because I want you to get this entire concept. <clears throat> For those of you who are not here, I want to recommend that you get some of the books that were available and the CDs that are available on the subject, uh, especially the book on singleness and marriage. I want to recommend you get that. Also, get a copy of the series of books on men and women, relationships. So we talk about the importance of you getting along with people so your faith can work. And also the newest book that's just been released this last week, two weeks now, I guess. Uh, we ran out of these books when I was here last time I spoke. And the shipment just came in. Probably one of the key books you want to pick up today. Uh, I think the book is for 25 or 29 dollars. I'm not sure what the price is, but we're going to be giving them to you for 20 bucks today because I really want you to get this information. And don't forget that those who sign up for the men's conference, you get it as a gift if you sign up today. Uh, the first. Ten people, I think they say, that registered today get it free. I will autograph a few of those after the meeting today. Uh, what I'm going to share is very critical at this time in our, our global life. Everyone in this room probably knows about what's going on in the world. If you don't know it, you're going to feel it. Unless you are under another system. Why do we want to talk about the kingdom culture of love, focusing on <clears throat> the power of true love? Because in the times of fear and distress, <clears throat> we need to have com comfort. But we also need to know what to do. So let me quickly give you a little context for this part two of understanding the kingdom culture of love. <clears throat> Everything must be in the context of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is a country. It's an invisible country. It's called heaven. Heaven is a place. It's more real than earth. And God's idea and plan was to colonize earth with the kingdom of heaven the same way the British colonized the Bahamas and fill the Bahamas and Jamaica and Barbados and Trinidad with their culture. God's plan, therefore, was to make the earth an outpost of heaven, a culture of heaven. A culture is the manifestation of a country's values, morals, and standards customs so when a country colonizes a place that place manifests the culture of that country the goal of colonization is to fill the earth with the culture of heaven so the evidence of colonization is culture You don't need to ask whether the French colonized Haiti or the Spanish colonized Cuba or the British colonized the Bahamas. Just go and visit those places. The culture tells you which kingdom colonized it. So Haiti speaks French, which has become mixed with the African dialect, which we call, we call Creole. It's French, Patois. If you go to Cuba, they speak Spanish because they take on the culture, language of their kingdom. In the Bahamas, we speak English and we drink tea. <laughs> in other words, when a kingdom colonizes a place, it manifests it in culture. God's plan was to colonize earth with the kingdom of heaven 
So the